Hey guys, Smoke Eater 901 here again. So, as many of you know, or some, maybe, not a whole lot, who knows, I really am a history buff, so to speak. I uh, love World War II history, uh, Civil War history is my kind of my coup de gras, and then American Revolution. You know, I fool around a lot on ancestry, do a lot of research, and I have 32 ancestors that fought for the Confederacy, and I have 21 that were involved with the American Revolution. Matter of fact, I have two sixth great grandfathers that I can trace back to being on the muster rolls under General George Washington's armies at Valley Forge. So for me, that's kind of cool. Um, so throughout the house, I think every room with the exception of the kitchen and the bathroom, I got prints hanging on the wall. My wife's like, that's enough. There is no more room. And as you can see behind me, there's stuff, you know, like right here, I have one of Robert E. Lee. Directly behind me is one of my top five favorites. It's called Romney Expedition. It's by my absolute hands down favorite artist. Uh, this one right here is a uh, really cool print for me as well. Uh, I'm an avid Lee Jackson Forest fans. So those are my top three that I just am really intrigued about. But the picture here is Julia. And it's the first time that Stonewall Jackson sees his daughter. And it's less than a week before he actually gets killed at Chancellorsville. Uh, of course, that one, the Romney Expedition, is like a brutal uh, winter campaign that was in, Jackson was also involved with. Uh, pretty much put a stop to a lot of winter campaigns after that. Uh, above it, you can't see it, but I'll show some pictures later, is the Battle of Oklahoma. It's probably one of my top three. Uh, it's de it's uh, definitely a Nathan Bedford Forrest. Uh, that's when his brother Jeffrey got killed. But I just have prints throughout the house. Um, a lot of really fantastic artists that are involved in Civil War prints. David Wright, <coughs> Rick Reeves, uh, Dale Gallen, Don Troiani, Mort Kunstler, and Don Stivers. Uh, and then of course, for me, my all-time favorite is John Paul Strain. Fabulous work. Uh, he has some prints that are not just Civil War. He has some World War II prints. Then he's got a, a print of uh, Jesse James, I'm pretty sure, and then uh, Wild Bill and Calamity Jane. His latest print is a, a Jeb Stewart print. It's got uh, a picture of uh, Jeb Stewart's Lamatt pistol in it. Uh, but one of my prize is a smaller picture and it's a uh, a Robert E. Lee and I'll show you what it looks like right quick. So that print it's just like an 11 by 13 print but it is uh, kind of the portrait from a print called Lines in the Winter and there's 15 of those in existence and I'm I feel like it's kind of cool that out of 15 prints in this world there's one at my house in Northwest Georgia. So I think that's really cool. I have a print here. It's a, uh, it's a Turner Ashby print. And it's got a, a Confederate flag. And it's got <laughs> Ashby's Bowie and pistol. And then down here in the bottom it has a paintbrush. And this is called Defenders of the Valley. And it's um, <clears throat> got Turner Ashby stuff. Uh, there is 50 of these pieces in existence that are done in this form. And I have one of them. So, you know, I think that's a really cool thing uh, to have that. Like I say, I'm just, I'm really intrigued with it. I read a lot of books, uh, do a lot of study on the internet, and uh, have a lot of prints that really bring the stories and the books to life. You know, you can read them and you can think about them. You know, like Escaping Fort Donaldson with Forrest. Uh, I've got that in a canvas G clay, and it's amazing, you know. You read the story of Bedford Forrest when he got out of uh, Fort Donaldson, was not going there to be captured, and he hightailed it out to try to fight another day. And that print just really brings that story to life uh, for me. <clears throat> Parker's Crossroad with Bedford, uh, Bryce's Crossroad, uh, Romney Expedition, Battle of Oklahoma, you know, just to name a few. 
a Christmas blessing with Stonewall Jackson, uh, Triumph at Chickamauga, Horse Marines. I can go on and on and on. And I have all these prints, and I'm going to show them to you and uh, let you see here at the end. We'll just kind of skim through some of the stills where you can see some of these prints. But guys, I'm telling you, if you are intrigued with Civil War history, look up John Paul Strain. His work is, like I, can't, like I say, top tier. It is uh, the coup de grace. I mean, he is the man of men when it comes to Civil War prints. Uh, I can't say enough cool things about his work. Uh, I actually talked to him on the phone one time. Super nice guy. So, again, check out his work, especially if you're a Civil War historian, you know, any kind of inkling to do with uh, Civil War history. So, guys, I do appreciate you watching. Let's take and I'll show you a few uh, still shots. Guys, have a great day. Make sure also tell your friends that I'm back, subscribe, and click the notification bell in the uh, top corner. So let's see if we can't get the channel back up and rolling again. Uh, I do appreciate it, guys. Have a great day.